after this 3 nothing victory? I'm guessing Corpusalo comes to mind and maybe your penalty killers. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, I thought we had some really good stretches, five on five, and then we, you know, had all those penalties. But penalty kill got good work, and Corpusalo made all the saves. Looked really calm. Looked really calm. Um, faced uh, the shots that he that he faced, he stopped. There didn't seem to be too many second, third opportunities. Lots of zone time, but... Uh, uh, pretty good job of preventing the rebound. Yeah, I thought, well, I mean, we got hemmed in a couple times, and um, you know what, they came out jumping, and Corpy made the saves he had to make. Um, but I thought, uh, you know, we did a good job clearing pucks after he made the first save. Um, you know, we would have liked to have, you know, uh, more five-on-five -five time, um, and that's something we got to get better at. Did the level of competition come at a right time from Pittsburgh here today? Yeah, I think so. I, I think you saw some good games. You know, Ridley was good out there tonight. I think Sharche continues to battle. Uh, did a real good job on the penalty kill, and it, it was a big difference, obviously, with our with our uh, real defense. Um, you know, starting six, I'd say. Veterans as well. Thomas Shabbat with a strong game. Yeah, I mean, his skating and, and his ability to uh, get out of trouble with his feet. Uh, clearly, you see the difference when you got Jake Sanderson and these guys. Um, you know, but we got to continue to be better discipline wise. You can't take six penalties. Does your penalty kill click in preseason must give you some confidence? Yeah, against a really good power play and, and some high end players. Um, but again, you can't take six. If you take six on any given night, you're probably loose. Um, you know, but. Uh, again, we'll go back to work and we'll just keep working on our five on five game. Today, for your maritime guys have connections here. Uh, just your thoughts on what this experience must have been like for them? Well, great for them. I, I got to get uh, Highmore at center with Drake and McHugh in there for the last shift. Three guys that are from here. So um, when you're from a small town, you have a lot of pride in it, and, and, and that they do. How important are the next couple of days for the club as far as camp is concerned? Well, we're going to get away there. We're going to golf together as a group tomorrow. Um, then we're going to get out to Winnipeg, so we'll, we'll hang out together. We'll, uh, um, you know, these guys like each other, and we'll just keep trying to build a, a foundation here. Certainly a pretty strong level of competition here tonight. What did you like most about your team's game? It was good. I mean, uh, it's not a, it's never an easy schedule, obviously, what to travel and uh, the training camp. We've been skating a lot, so, no, I mean, the, the team looked good. I mean, uh, obviously, in the third, and they outshot us a bunch. Obviously, they had a lot of power plays, but... Uh, you know what, at the end of the day, PK was solid and, and we found a way to win. PK was solid and so too was your goaltender. What, yeah. uh, what does uh, Corpus Allo leave you with feeling-wise? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, uh, preseason, we all want to get the or, or touches back or feeling back for the game. And um, obviously seeing him perform that way and play that way, obviously he was strong. He wasn't giving them anything. He made some big saves to keep us in the game early and, and did it the rest of the night. So obviously you love seeing your, your goalies even uh, Bergie last night and, and, and him tonight. Obviously, it's it's fun to see the guys playing well. Real smooth game from yourself, and you had said earlier in camp that you just wanted the reps on the right side. Yeah. It seems to be clicking here. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting there. I mean, obviously, I, like I said earlier, I've played in, what, six years in a row on the left side, so um, there's a few details that it's it's tough to adjust uh, on the right side, but obviously with playing some preseason, that's where you get used to them, and obviously there's still some work to be done, but no, the the, the playing um, level with Chicky, I mean, we have good chemistry, we get along, and we try to uh, feed off each other, and, and we both can skate, we both can make plays, and, and I think we've slowly shown that, and obviously we're excited to get things rolling here soon. As a former Sea Dog, I mean, you would have spent many games here in this rink. So did any of the memories come back? Yeah, I mean, a lot. I mean, it was always a building that was fun to play in. Um, obviously, uh, playing here, and obviously, I mean, the biggest thing for me, honestly, was for, for Drake, Heisey, and and even McEwen that were here. I mean, it's for those guys. I, um, if I play back home, I would love every second of it. So I can imagine for those guys, it's a, it's almost a dream come true. And um, to see us win that game for them, it, 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 that's what it's all about. And um, we were talking with them before. They have a lot of family, a lot of friends in town for the game uh, in the building. So that was awesome for them. Just, just kind of quickly, your thoughts on seeing the crowd react to Sidney Crosby coming back home? I mean, that was well deserved. Um, Everything this guy's done, all the respect we have for him. Um, probably, the, in, my, in my opinion, the best player uh, in hockey and that the game has ever seen. So uh, to see that, it's just awesome. Gives you goosebumps. I mean, you got to be happy for him. He's totally earned that right. And um, I mean, he's done it for so many years and so many years in a row. He's never taken a year off. So obviously, we have a lot of respect for him. How important are the next couple of days here as far as camp is concerned? Oh, they're big. I mean, uh, obviously, the, like I said, the camp's been hard. We've been skating hard. We've been uh, uh, playing some games. So uh, right now, it's. I think everybody, it was one of the first time we kind of all played together. And um, I think it's all about getting, getting our reps again and, 
uh, getting some rest and getting ready for the season. Yeah, just the bonding, no experience as well. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's it's all about coming on the road here. We get to spend time all together and having fun. And uh, tomorrow is a full day just the boys all together. So we're going to enjoy that. We're going to have a lot of fun. And um, obviously, we like I've always said, we've always had a good group in here. And, and the new guys that came in this year fit right in. Um, and obviously, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Jonas, you left the game on Wednesday in Montreal saying that you were a little disappointed with your third period. Obviously, short memory because this one looked like it had a different feel right from the beginning from your vantage point. Yeah, for sure. That was a different game too, you know. Got a lot of shots throughout the game and kind of, you know, stuck with it. And, uh, you know, guys played a heck of a game today too. So, I, you know, I'm happy how we played. Lots of shots um, at the same time. Scoring chances and obviously a lot of scoring chances as well. But there seem to be the second and third chance opportunities taken away. Just describe your team's play in front of you today. Well, yeah, you know, Pittsburgh just threw the pox to the net and, you know, we knew that. And, uh we got big bodies there too, so they, they you know took care of the rebounds and, and let me see the puck and you know that's that's a dream for a goalie. You've had your share of preseason games over the years here. How important at this time of the training camp is it to play against competition like Pittsburgh provides? It's huge. You know, you just treat it as a as a any game, you know. You wanna win these games and you wanna you wanna play the right way. And uh, you know that that's that's how you trust you know, build trust and, and confidence between the boys. Inner competition between you and Anton obviously is healthy. It's very good. The coach always wants it. The performance that he had last night going into tonight's game as well. You guys leaving with a smile on your face. Yeah, he, he's been playing unreal all the time, and uh, you know, especially in practice too. And uh, you know, just my job is the answer to that. You know, and uh, play the best I can. You know, and uh, have fun out there. Word to the bonding experience over the next 36 hours. Yeah, I don't play golf, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll see. Well, after a penalty kill the way it was here tonight, how to get your thoughts on this kill, this game in general here tonight? Yeah, obviously we were uh, in the box there for a few, but I thought we did a great job. I mean, they, they have a lot of great players over there, and you know what they can do, they're, they're dangerous. So the fact we, uh, we were able to shut them down, I mean, I thought our PK did a really good job. How much fun was this for you here tonight, playing against a team that was as... Uh, stacked, I guess, is the best way to describe it as Pittsburgh was. Yeah, I think every time you get a, you get a chance in an exhibition game, you, you want to make the most of it. And, uh, you know, this was a special game. They, they have a lot of their good players in. And, uh, like I said, uh, just try to make the most of every opportunity. And any time, you know, you get an opportunity, try to make the most of it. Never fun talking about yourself, but assess your camp so far. Yeah, I think it's been going all right. Uh, I, I was, you know, played a few games last year. was with the team, so... Uh, you know, I, I believe I can play in the NHL. I've had a pretty tough career with injuries and whatnot, so just trying to make the most of it and, you know, whatever role I can fill and hopefully, you know, stick it out as long as I can and, and see what happens. The half dozen games that you did play with Ottawa before you got hurt here, how, I, you, does that carry over into a, a training camp like this? Yeah, I think it gives you a lot of confidence and, you know, coming back to the same team with the same coaches, uh, you know, they're a little more familiar with your game and, uh, gives you a lot, just a lot more confidence out there, and um, like I said, know, knowing what your role is in the team system, that goes a long way. Playing a game like this uh, had a bit of a regular season feel at this stage in the training camp. How does that help to continue to build that confidence? Yeah, no, exactly. It, it was a big opportunity for us, you know, you know, guys like me to try to prove, you know, you can play against NHL competition because it's not like that, you know, every night in these exhibition games. And, uh, I don't think you know. Didn't don't think we took that for granted. I thought we we did a good job executing the game plan we wanted to do. And uh, yeah, like I said, it was a big opportunity for all of us. What'd you think about the crowd tonight? Oh yeah, it was awesome. You know, the standing ovation for Crosby there, and uh, obviously we had a few hometown boys too. So I can only imagine it would have been a blast for them.